Welcome to Newbury for a few races I'll be bringing you here. And we're starting off with the Doug Warren Maiden Hurdle. It's over three miles for five-year-old horses and up. We've got by Royal Decree for Joshua Sutherland, Captain for D. Hooley, Heartbreak Hotel for Paul Rod Rhodes, Jovial Apparent T. Rogers, Cirque for Martin Leadham, Swindy Home James Shea, Elaine for Mike Westwood, Bean About Luck for Hems, Breakout Leon Van Rensburg, Hyacinth Kalapa for D. Thompson, Karminsky Ponty for Pontypool Racing, Need to Improve for C. Beckwith, Southwark Sociable for Davy Ladd, and completing the lineup is Trode Bow for Ryan Tamasebi. I was a little disappointed with how Trode Bow ran on the second trials day, but hopefully this quicker ground and the full three miles will see that one perform like I know she can. And the early lead is being set by David Hooley's captain. It's quite a few front runners in the league this season. It'll be interesting to see how this one fares as it races neck and neck with Heartbreak Hotel for Paul Rhodes. There's a gap back already but you could throw a blanket over the rest and lead in the chase and pack is Swindy home, Karminsky Ponty. We've got a lane over towards the rail and towards the back of the field at the moment. We've got the grey horse, Southwark Sociable, just alongside Hyathins Kalapa, but that one's running uh, quite wide, Southwark Sociable. Um, breakout and by Royal Decree, also just being held up towards the rear of the field and sitting in behind Trude Bow and Cirque and over towards the rail behind Need to Improve. We've got Jovial Apparent in the all green, but... Heading back to the front of the field, you can see the captain's just moved on about a length in front of Heartbreak Hotel. So we start turning left-handed and coming towards the next flight. All of them jumping safely so far. Captain still leading by Heartbreak Hotel and there's still that gap of around four lengths back to Swindy Home in a lane. As they come to that next flight of hurdles, good jump up front by Captain. Not so clever jump towards the back of the field by, by Royal Decree. Wasn't as fluent as Joshua Sutherland would like to have seen it. But it's still early days and a long way to go here. And Captain, that beautiful black horse out in front, just setting the pace. Slightly slower jump from it this time around, and that allowed Heartbreak Hotel just to move back up front. But the jockey on that one is keen to just sit in behind David Hooley's leader rather than take it on for the lead just now. Good jump by the leaders there. Slightly slower jump from Southwark Sociable towards the back of the field, and that allowed Breakout to just move on past that one and leave it as the back marker. And Perhaps just hitting a bit of a flat spot there as it's been ridden into the next flight of hurdles, but a better jump from that one, and it's starting to close in on the on the rear of that chasing pack. And Captain and Heartbreak Hotel still just bowling along in the front. Swindy Home, Karminsky, Pond, and Need to Improve. Happy to just sit in a few lengths off the pace as they're all travelling pretty nicely again, but there's still a good 14 and a half furlongs to go. So Captain leading from Heartbreak Hotel. Swindy Home, Karminsky Pont need to improve is hugging the rail at the moment. Just in behind that one, we've got a lane that's just ridden on for a couple of strides, as was Been About Luck on the outside of it in the green and gold hoops there for Craig Allen. By Royal Decree is the grey horse. You can't miss that one in the recognisable silks for Joshua Sutherland as well. As we just see the from that rear camera angle there, all the horses just trying to move forward a little bit now to just join up the the kind of the chase and pack that is it just in a few lengths behind these leaders because it's still captain and heartbreak hotel cruising along in front and the same three horses just sitting in behind those and you can see the few of the jockeys in the chase and pack behind them are still getting to work and i don't know whether they're hitting a flat spot or being a touch out paced or whether they are just trying to press a little bit closer but if it's the latter it's not really having the desired effect at the moment you can see one that really is trying to move forward there's breakout in the dark blue silks for champion trainer reigning champion leon van rensburg there that one's gold hat you can see it there alongside craig allen's runner in the green and gold hoops they're just in the midfield at the moment towards the back of the field trode bow and Southwark Sociable, I certainly know that my runner does like to make its play later on in the race. So I'm not too worried about how that one's looking at the moment. Captain for David Hooley, still setting a really good pace here. The stam stamina is really going to be tested. And it'll be interesting to see whether any of these are going to turn out to be star-staying hurdlers as the season progresses. A really slow jump there from Heartbreak Hotel at the front. You can see that's moved it nearer towards the chase and pack than the leader. Got in a bit too close and had to get a lot of air timer uh, just to get over that flight safely. Apart from that, there's been the odd mistake, but the majority of these hurdlers have been pretty fluent at all flights so far. So Captain's still in the lead, and we're into the final mile here as they swing left-handed here at Newbury. Captain in the lead from Heartbreak Hotel. It's still Swindy home in third place, and it's just been nudged along a little bit there to maintain that position, but it now wants to move ever, ever closer to the leader. 
need to improve traveling well and tracking them on the rail and Trudebo is now moving forward it's moved forward a little bit sooner than i would have expected by royal decree the gray horse is moving a little bit closer as well and just in behind those ones we've got Karminski pond being about luck elaine's just being pushed along on the rails perhaps struggling to go with them for the moment and long time back what marcus southwark sociables trying to get going it's jovial apparent and cirque now that are the back markers and struggling to go with these horses at the moment but it's still captain in the lead and seemingly going very well for david hooley and Troad Bow for my stable is now about to move into second and a good jump there has allowed it to go and join this long time leader captain but look at by royal decree the grey horse for Joshua Sutherland and one catch in my eye is breakout for Leon van Rensburg that is moving forward through the centre of the track and being about looks trying to get going for Craig Allen as well as they come to the next flight slow jump from Troad Bow after he'd taken the lead she'd taken the lead she now surrendered it with a poor jump to by royal decree who goes out in front for Joshua Sutherland quickly come to the next flight another great jump from by royal Royal Decree, matched by Breakout, and that's allowed that one to stay in contention. Troad Bow put in another really slow jump, and will struggle to pick them up from here. It looks like by Royal Decree might have stolen this one, and puts in another fantastic leap that allows it to go three or four lengths clear. Breakout trying to fight back for Leon Van Rensburg. Troad Bow trying to stay on as well in third, but by Royal Decree has won this in a quick look over the right shoulder before easing down. By Royal Decree wins very comfortably for Joshua Sutherland by about three lengths to break out in second place for Leon Van Rensburg looks a useful type and third place I believe for Troad Bow for my stable there much better showing than on trials day and back in fourth you can see there the long time leader and pace setter captain stayed on couldn't quite see out the full three miles and hold off all challenges but still ran a very good race in fourth for David Hooley, another returning trainer for this season like myself. He'll be happy with that run. And fifth place for Craig Allen's Been About Luck. But the winner, and I'm sure we'll be seeing that horse in some big staying hurdle races for Joshua Sutherland. Won by two and three quarter lengths. Really impressive. And a good race here. The Doug Warren hurdle goes to Josh Sutherland.